I'm Marjorie Dannenfelser, president of the Susan B. Anthony List, and I'm so happy that you've taken a few moments to join us on this day. This is an incredibly important day for us to be together and to reflect back over the last 38 years of rule under Roe versus Wade, which is exactly what that decision in the Supreme Court was. It was a ruling that states did not have the right to protect human beings in the way that they saw fit. Therefore, we've seen 52 million or more children die since that, since that time. Well, let's just think of the one. Let's think of the one child that was sent here with a purpose, that was loved, willed, and necessary for this world, for our families, for our communities. And what is missing? What is missing with the deaths of each one of those children? When we get used to the word abortion, we can never lose sight of what the loss of just one is. Now let's extrapolate out 52 million and think of the scale of the loss. And that's why today, men, women, children, families, professionals, people from all over the country are marching in the streets saying it's time to roll back this death-dealing Roe versus Wade decision so that we could begin to protect some of those children protect the mothers that have been harmed and injured emotionally, physically, spiritually by their decisions that sometimes they were cornered into, sometimes they didn't know any better. I was very strongly pro-choice and I understand getting to that decision. Now we need to take what is pro-life America. It's not just a movement anymore. All the polls show this is pro-life America now. It is time for us to flex the muscle that we just flexed in this election and do everything we can in this Congress to protect those human lives. And I'll tell you the one thing will be the most important thing you could do today, whether you're at home or you're marching, wherever you are, is to contact your member of Congress, say please co-sponsor and vote for the Chris Smith bill that would roll back all abortion funding throughout the entire federal government. That's what has to happen, and think how minimal that is. All we're asking is to say, don't make us pay for this. We're not outlawing one abortion by insisting that we won't be made complicit in the death of even one child. This, of course, is the promise that this president made when we were moving to the health care debate. So tomorrow night, when he gives his State of the Union message, it should certainly include uh, how he has or has not lived up to that promise. I am here to tell you that he said that he would, and then he didn't. And he fooled America with a phony executive order that said in the health care bill that he would protect unborn life in a health care bill, which made total sense. With that falsehood, he got that legislation passed because he got 14 self-described pro-life Democrats to vote for the bill because of that falsehood. Those guys are mostly gone because of that very decision, because of your strength and the strength of the pro-life movement. Now show that strength again. Contact Congress, contact the Senate, and make sure this president also hears from you. And most of all, pray. Pray, because that, without that, none of the pro-life protections, none of the strength, we wouldn't be talking about pro-life America, we wouldn't be seeing the polls that show that every demographic, including women, is strongly pro-life now. It simply wouldn't have happened, in my view. Without those prayers, I never would have gone from the pro-choice to the pro-life position. I am 100% sure of that. So I invite you to come, go to our website, the StopAbortionFunding.com website, which will show you exactly what to do, makes it real easy. Uh, and if you are not marching today, please take a moment to pray and act. And then tomorrow night, watch that State of the Union message. See if he decides to follow up on that promise. And if he doesn't, make sure he hears from you again. God bless you, and thank you for all that you do. And if you think you've done enough, do two times more, because right now is a moment, a moment in time that we have not seen since 1973, where we have the momentum, we have the power, have all the ability to save children's lives by stopping the funding of their deaths. Please get involved and uh, pray with me, and we'll move forward together. I look forward to hearing from you. God bless.